President Paul Kagame graced the closure of the RPF International Conference, which saw political leaders and international guests discuss Rwanda's political, social, and economic progress over the last three and a half decades. This is why we are also so pleased to be able to stop for a moment and take some time to reflect on what liberation has meant for us and others around the world. The panel discussions centered on areas of liberation to nation building and how Africa will take charge of its future. Africa has accepted almost implicitly a form of junior partnership in international affairs. It is that junior partnership which we have to deal with. So the process of development really is a process of you moving your production from production and export of less value added products to the highest value. And people have shifted their minds from what they actually know that should be done that we have discussed and debated to what they are being told they must do because they need that money that comes with it <laughs> to implement it. So there is something lacking on our side in terms of ownership, of ideas, or even learning to do what we have already learned. The National Resistance Movement sent a team to be a part of these anniversary celebrations, and it was headed by the Party Secretary General, Richard Todrong. So when we see the achievements of Rwanda, and we see the leadership coercion, the fight against corruption, the, the governance system, and how Rwanda has become the beacon of hope in the region, we congratulate them, and we are here to just say congratulations, and as the National Resistance Movement Party that saw it all and played a crucial role at the beginning of their formation. We are here to join hands with the other fraternal parties to congratulate them for their achievement. He also highlighted that there are many lessons to draw from Rwanda's dark past. We preach against the politics of identity, politics of tribalism, politics of religion, because such can make a country fail because if you nurture a country based on social and class identity it can break down the country and then indeed in Uganda we have moved so far and I'm also happy that in Rwanda we are seeing the countries developing based on the patriotic nature that they are looking at a global picture instead of those uh, small small uh, fractures that can break down the country. So Rwanda's journey hasn't been that without challenges as the country has had to overcome significant obstacles such as the genocide and the regional conflicts. But nevertheless, this 35th RPF anniversary offers an opportunity for the country to reflect on the progress so far and also look at the future of continued growth and development. Samuel Senono, UBC TV News in Kigali.